Hey guys, Sports Wars, everything with Crypto Marie local and international. LeBron James dish on emotional IQ for NBA longevity. Be effing human being. Be a effing human being. That's what he says. LeBron James has sometimes seemed in model during his NBA career, but he says his humanity is the key to his longevity. James discussed why he's seen some superstars fall off and said it comes down to the unwillingness to be a decent person behind the scene. When the ST gets bigger than the cat, you get rid of the effing cat, James told JJ Reddick on the Mind the Game podcast. A lot of players, when they are at the peak of performance, they haven't respected authority. They haven't come in and wanted to be a part of the group, but they were averaging 25, 30, or whatever the case may be, and they were the ST, which is, I believe, the shit. When that stuff started to dwindle and the uh, ST isn't as good as the individual anymore, they get rid of the cat. You see, it is in sport in general, you have to play the game to play the game. At the end of the day, being a good person shouldn't have to be dedicated to just sports. That's effing life. It's being a good effing person. No one's telling you to be fake, just be a effing human being. Okay. James is playing in his 21st NBA season in 2023-2024, tying, tying him for the second most in history behind Vince Carter. Bearing a surprise retirement this summer, James will tie Carter next season for the most season played all time. James is already the league's all-time leading scorer and is fourth on the all-time assist list. He's just breaking, 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 breaking. And we don't know for how long he's going to be playing, but he had shown us he's the king. He's the king. James and Reddick did not mention any players by name who weren't able to make the late career transition, but it's not hard to think of a few names who stand out. Again, subscribe. Let me know who you think they were talking about. A lot of players got in, get some money, get out. A lot of them get in trouble, ended up behind bar. When I saw Randall, Randall used to play for Boston. I remember I used to watch basketball a lot back then. This kid had a lot of talent. He had it going for him. And when I saw him ended up behind bar, I'm like, damn, man. How you let that happen to you? You made so much money. And now you've been accused of doing all type of stuff. Now you ended up behind bar. It just doesn't make sense yet. It just doesn't. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Thank you. Bye.